Starting our day, Sunday fun day. Um, we are headed out to the mall because the other day Brian left his credit card at the um, restaurant and uh, we have to go pick it up. He always does this, I have no idea why. Like he pays it, signs it, and then leaves his card. So, bad habit, but um, at least uh, we're, we have an excuse to take baby out. Huh, huh, or else you'd be cooped up in there, in your little cage. <laughs> okay, so um, baby has been okay all morning. He was attached to me about every single hour. We were like hugging, cuddling, and feeding. And um, so now he's super content. I'm happy too. <laughs> All right, so um, it's been a couple days and I have not um, gotten a chance to respond to my comments on YouTube. So I'm gonna try to do that real quick right now um, before um, I don't have no time later because I'm sure baby wants to cuddle some more get out of the car or into the apartment area. So let's back up and see where did I leave off. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, I think this is um, where I left off. Sarah Chang, this is a food baby chair if you need one. It helps the baby back to sit upright and it has a tray that you you were looking for. Up seat, baby chair, booster seat with tray for upright posture and healthy hips. So we already got him a a booster chair is by Bumble and uh, we're testing it out it seems like he likes it so far he's been sitting in it kind of leaning forward because he's trying to reach for things in front of him and on the sides and such but um hopefully he will be okay with that chair I mean I tried the Bumble without the tray and he did not like that he was way too chubby for it so that didn't work out I had to return it and buy the one with the chair and now he's okay all right, so next is um, Trang Nguyen. I thought I saw Lisa post on Insta that the cabin is ready for Airbnb. Did she sold it already? Yeah, she did. She basically bought that house five months ago, renovated it, and like sold it when I was supposed to be up there. So the reason why I went to um, uh, Lake Airhead is because I was supposed to do a show, a filming for SBTN. Um, there's a new show coming called um, house to home and it's it's supposed to um, feature me um, Inspiring her Lake Airhead house because she wanted to renovate the downstairs game room To look like the loft that I have at my other house So I was supposed to be there to do that But since somebody already bought the house the whole plan of recording that segment is completely canceled and um, We just hung out and she tried to convince me to um, Look for some homes in L LA, which is Lake Airhead. Um, and uh, apparently, according to her, I have really good um, taste in design that I would be able to do something nice up there. And also, um, if it doesn't work out for um, investments, then um, I can always Airbnb like how she is, was supposed to do, but ended up selling her house anyways. So um, I guess I, it's something different. I wanted to do it a long time ago, but I, I just never had the guts and um, Brian really didn't want to do it because he felt like he didn't want to get into real estate or he thought it was just something that he's not interested in or passionate about so um, we didn't do it but um, I think now that I, I have some time like I mean I don't have time with baby but I have some time on the weekends when I'm not singing to go up to the mountains and do the work there. I think or maybe I'm just ahead of myself but who knows I'm just taking this jump and see where it goes because I mean we do invest in other things and such but I feel like we could do more so let's try to do something and keep ourselves busy so we don't drive each other crazy okay okay so um Din says oh yes I knew that Michelle Kwan trained there in Airhead so cool that you saw her house yeah we saw it from afar but um I guess it's a tourist spot for people who want to go and check out celebrity houses. I didn't know there were that many celebrities up there, but apparently they love Lake Airhead. Girl, you are taking the enamel off your teeth. This is referring to my filing my teeth with a nail filer by too blessed to be stressed. So, um, I mean, as long as you're not overdoing it, then it's okay. The dentist, like I said, did the same thing to me. Just drilled off my teeth, didn't even polish or anything, so... Don't go too crazy and don't go like, you know, halfway because it's just a snippet of 
my teeth that I did, but I guess a lot of people think I'm crazy for doing it. So um, just be careful when you do it yourself, if you do it. Um, ML AM Specialty Gift says, could you do a video to work the Nuna Carrier? I can't seem to get it on right. So, okay, I will definitely do that. I mean, at first I was kind of confused too, but now we're super used to it and I, I can definitely do a video and um, link it up here for you guys to see on how we use the new neck area and I think so far I love it I mean we we tried to do the ergo baby but um, I just didn't like it because it was a little it seemed bulkier and also it wasn't magnetic magnetic like the um, Nuna straps so I'll do that for you next is Sarah Van D T L A. I can't see it because the car is just shaking and the phone and okay so you can't overfeed a baby at the breast but you can in the bottle I will have to disagree with that because I feed my baby both ways and he spits up that's just how he is and then he wants more and he wants to eat more and I have to cut him off and whatnot so it's just something we have to deal with and hopefully he gets over it soon trap drip good video keep it up would you like to be a youtube friend so i've been getting a lot of spammers on my youtube so if you're gonna spam i'm gonna have to block you okay don't do it all right timing Wynn says could you please perform in maryland or virginia area again and bring ryan with you i would love to babysit him for you he can play with my pumpkin um i mean we we travel only because um like certain things like uh the holidays or um, something that we think that would be great as a family, but me going to another place by myself with baby, I'd rather him stay home with his dad because it's kind of crazy right now with the whole coronavirus thing. So we have to be extra cautious and um, keep baby kind of in in this indoors in state as much as possible. So yeah, um, thanks for the offer though. Mary Hin Vo says. Cutest drama queen ever. Oh my god, this guy. Drama, drama all day long. My goodness. All right, I'm gonna put my camera here because it's starting to get a little um, heavy for my hand and and I, I don't wanna drop the camera while reading your YouTube comments. So it's on Ryan's um, little chair thing. Hopefully it stays up. I mean, it looks like it's falling down here and there, but Let's try to find a good balance. That looks like it's okay. That, that's okay. Okay. Um, no, it's not. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. This looks alrighty. Okay. I think that's pretty steady for now. Keep an eye on it. Um, Kim Tsujimoto says, Love you, Unmin. Love your video from SBTN Singing Fat Mao. Your makeup was on point. I tried to download it from iTunes, but it's not available to purchase in the US. Where can I purchase it? So, this song Fat Mao, um, you check it out here. I have it on my link for those who want to um, get the song for free. It's um, this link right here, unmin.net slash am. So, check it out. Tyrese Lin says, Oh, um, Sorry, Kwang Lei. <laughs> so, this is referring to Kwang Lei and how he gained weight. Um, it's a health issue and he's he's been battling it and I hope that he gets better as well too. So, anyone wants to watch Unmin's Fit Mao again, here we go. Thanks for linking it. You can also check down at the box below or the link that I link up, linked up here for the cards. Kathy Pham says, baby, handsome than daddy. So cute. Thank you. Brittany Nguyen says, your voice sounds so good. It's so different. I love it. Thank you, Brittany. This song, Fat Mao, was really something that I wanted to try something different. And um, I really like the song. So it's one of my favorites. V Lung says, where did you purchase the Jia Lu? It looks so good. Thank you. I purchased it at um, Jia Duk Hung. So this place is known for their pork rolls and stuff like that. So they're very famous for that and you can order from them and they'll ship to you or you can go there and buy and you know take it home to, with you when you fly back home to you, wherever you're going. So the best jia luo and jia stuff that they have is there, okay? Happy eating. Tang Wen says, there's nothing wrong singing the same song. Those are songs that people have known you for. I love all your songs and never tired of it. Um, thank you so much. Uh, that That's just the market. You go perform and what people know you for. So 
that's just how it is. And I think it's not just Vietnamese, I think it's American too. Like, Britney Spears has been doing the same songs in Vegas every day. <laughs> Celine Dion, you know, J-Lo, Beyonce, everyone. So, even Michael Jackson, 30 years, same song, Billie Jean. All that good stuff. Okay, so next. Tan Nguyen also says, I never have weight problems, but after I was hospitalized for a year, I started gaining weight and it got out of hand, but I am trying to maintain it. So good luck with that, and um, I hope you achieve your goals. Steve Lee, I'm gonna say this to my friend, my friend Boo Boo Steve, trying to troll me here. Well, free giveaway. I'm always taking donations to Boo. I'm like, first of all, Steve, you are making it happen, and you are making it rain, and you don't need no giveaway, so fall back. <laughs> Emma Huynh says, great job with foreplay. My three-year-old daughter has it all on repeat dancing to it. Thank you. Um, I hope she understands the fantasy part of the um, music video. Like, I wanted to look like Utopia, um, unicorns, just very um, animated. As for the lyrics, that's something that you can take it out with your daughter. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure, but... Um, yeah. Trey Singwin, where is the Acura car you guys used to drive? Do you guys still have that car? Yeah, we still have that car. His employee is driving it. So, um, yeah. I wanted to sell it, but Brian doesn't want to sell anything. He wants to hoard everything and give everything away to everybody. Largon03 says, I literally paused the video and started to file my teeth in the bathroom. This is referring to my filing my teeth with a nail filer. I filed the top and one tooth on the bottom that would stick out longer than the others. I have long teeth and I made them look straight. So basically, this person said they uh, did a great job and um, didn't have any problems. So once again, be careful when you guys file your teeth. Don't file too crazy and get to the enamel where it's super sensitive. I've had my teeth filed for like a little bit over a year now and no problems yet. So just be careful. Trish Stone says, could you send me the link to your Amazon shop? Thank you. It's in the description box down here, and you can just click that link and it'll just take you straight to the um, Amazon shop. Jenny Yoong says, Hello, Admin. I heard that baby Ryan is teething now. You should try getting him this thing, which is um, Amazon link for uh, babies to suck on with food inside. Not only it could help with teething, but also let him experience different flavors and fruits. Um, also, this style prevents babies from choking and swallowing. Baby is getting so big and adorable, and I've been enjoying your vlog. So I clicked on the link, and it says it's not available to ship because it's coming from China, so there's no way we're gonna get that, but I'll definitely look for something f like similar to that. Thanks for letting me know. Panda CC says, Admin, I feel so bad for you with having the baby by yourself and hosting people at the same time. It's a lot for you. By the way, I have a question for you. Do you know while breastfeeding, what you're eating, drinking is also what your baby is having? I think this person is oh, telling me that um, to be uh, mindful what you uh, eat because that's what babies um, eat as well. I think um, I am trying to uh, get the good foods for him. If I'm doing alcohol, then I wait about two hours for a drink to breastfeed him so that it passes my system and um, so far I've been eating in here and there and out here and there but um, nothing too crazy I mean he so far is okay with everything he just has that huge spit of issue so um, I'm just hoping that it goes away I've tried all types of milk formula um, gentle ease um, my breast milk I tested my food that I eat and he's just a spitter but um, he's getting weight just fine. Actually, too much. So, um, yeah. Thanks for letting me know. Christina Villanova says, Wait, what? You're hanging out with your brother again? I knew that day would come. Little brothers are annoying, but they always manage to crawl back into our lives. So, I mean, my brother, he was just... Like I said before, he was going through some issues and I wanted to reach out and help him. So, hopefully, we're doing the right thing. I don't know where we're headed in our future, but... Um, in my mind and my mentality right now, all I see is, and what I feel is, um, what I can do to help, then I'll try my best to. Our relationship 
Wise is probably something we, we were working on. It's, you know, we agree to disagree and some some things when I'm serious about it, I put my foot down and set some boundaries. So hopefully they will be respected this time around. Delina Lee says, hang in there and men, you're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Lan Tom says, you have money. Hire a nanny or don't host if you keep complaining that you're stressed. Stop whining. Um, I feel like this person didn't hear me clearly when I said I did not want a nanny because I don't trust nannies. I see so many people hire nannies and then there's issues with the nannies beating their kids. Um, their kids end up, you know, dead or like, you know, just terrifying, horrifying stories about nannies. I'm just not ready for that. He's just at a young age and it's my responsibility to take care of him and... If I want to complain about it, then this is my prerogative. This is my vlog. This is how I feel in this moment in time. Um, how I'm stressed and I work it out with myself. As for the whining part, um, it's a scooper, okay? <laughs> okay. Next. Um, girl, Din says, girl, bye. This is part of her life. Figuring things out. Let her be or don't watch. Thank you so much, Din. <laughs> yes. Um... Sarah Chang says the walker doesn't help his back because they don't have st enough strength to hold itself up. So they start to slouch, let them grow into it. They will start walking when it's the time to the walker will not help it. Walker will not help again. Um, the muscles get stronger. Every parent, please reach your information before you start buying things for your baby, thinking it will help you save money. So first off, I didn't buy this. This is from my mom. She bought it for my baby a long time ago, left it at my house, and I just, you know, tried it out. Um, I totally get the whole walker and the jumper thing is going to delay his development and not help him walk faster, but I mean, I am in no rush to push him to or let him walk earlier or whenever faster because I feel like if he's gonna walk, he's gonna be everywhere and like it's gonna get crazier and crazier and I kinda enjoy him just being, you know, him right now and I don't put him in the walker too long. I mean, I already left him in there for like five minutes and then I took him out, but that five minutes of putting him in there just so that he could slobber all over the tray gave me a moment of sanity to myself, take a breather and come back and um, pick him up because I've been holding him constantly and that was when my friend Michelle was like, I think you need to try the walker because she has kids before. And she, so she put them in and it was fine. Her kids are like 18 years old now and they're walking, they're walking just fine. <laughs> I mean, eventually every baby and every kid is going to walk one way or another. Um, and I guess some parents want to hit certain milestones before a certain age, but for me, I I got rid of the the uh, jumper because I felt like that might have been something that might affect his joints. But the walker, he's just literally sitting on it most of the time and drooling on the tray. And um, he's not even walking. He's just chilling on the seat and sometimes just stand up because he likes to do that. He stiffens up his body just to stand. And um, it gives me and Brian just five minutes every couple hours throughout the day to take a breather so the walker is okay and it's from my grandma so I just thought it would be nice from my mom to um, let baby uh, try it and you know test it out best deal 16 says for your information using a walker can delay independent walking that's because learning to walk isn't so much about learning to use your legs it's about learning to pull to stand and then balance take steps without support I wouldn't use it if I were you so once again I said um no rush to get him to walk early. He will eventually walk, I'm sure. And this is just something that I tried out for him and just to give us a breather here and there. So um, I'm gonna stop right here and continue later because we are at the mall right now and we are going to get something to eat and <sighs> get a breather. Let's go, baby. All right, so we just picked up the credit card and now let's go get something to eat. In the food court, I'm heading to this place right here. It's Marugami Manzo again. I feel like something soupy. Up closer, here it is. Let's go order some food. Some noodles. Here it is. Let's go 
down and see what they have here. Looks like everything is sold out. <laughs> oh, maybe you have more right here. The shrimp stuff. Hurry, hurry! It's on the yep, everything is out. Just gotta wait. This location, they give it to you in a to-go container, so I guess they don't have to wash the place, but you waste. Thank you, paper. You too. Gotta wait for the fried stuff. It's all gone. I know, gotta wait for it. Well, I'm gonna get shrimp. Okay, bon appetit. I got a uh, beef curry. Brian got a regular beef. You can share. Baby is knocked out, I think. Okay, we got zucchini, shrimp, and chicken. Here's the sauce. Alrighty, we just went to Target and grabbed some quick bites uh, for baby. Hopefully, it'll be something he's going to be indulging and be excited about. He's still sleeping. He was sleeping this whole time. So that's good. And let's um, continue the responses. This is from Huynh Mao. Turn on this here again. Haven't watched your blog. Um, kids so cute. Been so busy traveling to Melbourne to, for work. Be careful when you travel out there. The coronavirus is, um, you know, getting real close uh, to spreading everywhere. So yeah, just uh, wash your hands thoroughly and um, stop buying masks if you don't really need them. <laughs> Cause uh, the hospital needs them and y'all keep buying masks then it's not helpful for those who actually really need to help. Okay, all right, so um, Ian Nop says, hi, thank you for your video. What about my breast small, about cup A, will it work? Thanks. This is referring to my LV pump review. Is it worth it? Um, my boob is about double A and after baby my boob was like a C so if you're naturally a double A like me I think you're you're gonna go to at least a B so yeah um, double A is fine A is fine so good luck with the pumping Catherine Jacob says oh my god I really want to squish his face he's so cute thank you so much Kung Chen says Ryan time to eat real food yes it is and time for his poop to smell bad too Mm. Pandas 55C says, Oh my god, you have to mash the avocado. Even that small piece is not good for him. Donald the boy responds in to Panda. Um, there is something called baby lid weaning and you do not need to mash anything. Just give baby food and let them explore before one year old baby's main source is nutrition. Um, a so source of nutrition is from breast milk food is just for practice or fun a lot of moms are doing baby lead weaning check it out I think he's big enough like he has teeth already this guy's like chomping on like my boobies like no other so I think he's good to eat that avocado and yeah, the avocado that we gave him yesterday was really really mushy and um, he's okay today no problem and we gave it to him this morning as well and he's he's fine so um, I think just to have chunks so that he can explore and self-feed is good. I see my sister do it all the time, so I think it'll be okay. Chi Chan says, your son is so cute. I mean, thank you. Panda55C says, age six to eight months. So just recommendation of, you know, what to feed baby. So I have a chart myself. I've been Googling. I've been doing some research as well. And um, thank you so much for letting me know. And um, I'll definitely um, do some more research before I give him food for his age but I think he's definitely going faster than his age because teeth and everything is just it's too fast honey slow down Tanmin says you should blend it with other veggies chicken noodle soup is good home cooks um soft then blended okay so um I haven't really considered blending I heard that you're not supposed to mix the food and introduce to baby slowly like if I were to give him avocado I'd wait a couple days and then give him something new so today is about day 
number three, I would say, and um, maybe we'll try something new today. We'll see. We'll, we don't know. Just test things out to see what he's allergic to and what he can handle and can't. Lily T says, watching him eat the avocado was so adorable. Congrats, Scooper. Yes. I think he enjoyed it. Blossom Andrew says, I wasn't expecting this to be in English. This is referring to my vlog. Yeah, I speak English. Just because I'm Asian doesn't mean I can't speak English. <laughs> Delina Lee says his face was, when he tasted the avocado was so so adorable. I couldn't stop laughing. I can tell he's going to be a really big boy when he grows up. He loves food already. Yes, he does love to eat a lot. Kelly Pham says try butternut squash, carrot, and sweet potatoes. Congrats. Um, I just bought sweet potatoes um, from Target, so we'll try that out definitely. But just remember, first year food are just for fun. Don't be too hard on yourself and kid. Mingo says... Hi, and man, Ryan is growing up so fast. He looks like Vin, that same smile. I don't see it. I feel like he looks like himself. I, he doesn't look like me or Brian yet. Sometimes I'll, I'll see it, but I think he looks like Ryan himself. Mary Ann says, as long as he's having fun, being entertained, and you get some free time, why not? No rush for him to walk. More baby time with him. So this is talking about the walker that my mom got him. I agree. Um, I feel like he's so small. He's going to be a baby like just in this small snippet point in time and um, there's no re no rush to, to walk fast because walking leads to like hot mess express messing, getting into things and such like that. So I just want to cuddle with him and hug him and let him roll for just a little bit longer. And you know, the walker tends to just give us a break for a moment, just a moment. Um, I think when it comes to things and toys like that, you just have to have a good balance and make sure that you don't overdo it. So balance is key. Sarah Chang says, make soup rice with carrots and smash it. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna go slowly, fruit by fruit, veggies by veggies, and um, we'll go from there, one day at a time. Good Mouse says, adorable baby, thank you. Mary Hinbo says, can't get over his cuteness, thank you. Daisy Toe says, I think that's still too chunky for his age. I think it's best to mash it and even add milk to blend it out. Usually first solids should be cereal and milk so they get used to swallowing the solids. I mean, I think it's up to the parent's preference, what you're comfortable with, every parent's different. So if you're more comfortable with mushy, mushy food, then you know, go for it. But for me, I, I think he has teeth, he can chew. <laughs> I know a lot of parents say their kids don't have teeth until like 10 months, one year, um, know after one year but this baby is like chomping he's chomping on my nipples and I know he's got some strength in there so that avocado can handle it Isabel says why are you having your husband do everything it's your baby hold him and cuddle him also why not feed him straight from your breast it's a lot easier I feel like this person doesn't really follow me on a day-to-day -day basis because if she did then she would know where um, where we are at in our lives and with baby and such um, so I guess you just have to really watch us to really know why and yeah so I am breastfeeding him from my boob every single day every single hour actually too much that my husband's complaining that I do it too often because I spoil him but I told him there's no way you can spoil a baby he's so cute it's only this moment in time that he's going to be this small so just take advantage of it so yeah i i've been doing it for like six months we tested bottles here and there because um sometimes he's allergic so we tried the formulas but clearly it's not a, an allergic reaction it's just him being you know not developing his stomach with the formula or the breast milk yet and um sometimes when i drink i give him the bottle so majority of the time the boop and for Brian my husband take care of the baby everyone knows he should be doing it I mean a hundred percent means a hundred percent but lately it's been a hundred percent on my part so as you can see as much as I complain and bitch I do it and um, I have been we actually just got in a fight 
about him not doing anything except working and working and constantly working and I was like you know what maybe it's better that you get a regular job so you have time for baby something that you wanted to do for the longest time and bring into this world so you have to find some time for baby so we're trying to work it out with our lives and our schedule and he wants to have another one but I'm like no it's not fair and um, like I said 100% is a big lie on his part did you hear that Brian hello yeah exactly he's, he's laughing it off thinking it's funny no it's not funny we'll have to um, get back on that track it's, it's also my fault too because I said 100% but I keep taking over and then I keep wanting to like oh let me do it let me do it because you're doing it wrong and I don't want a nanny, like I said, because I don't trust anybody. And I also don't even trust Brian, so I, we always yell at each other. But like, not, not we. I always yell at him for not doing it right and not taking care of the baby. So, that's, that's about it. Um, we're heading home right now, and um, it's going to be about 20 minutes because there's traffic. There's traffic. So I will show you guys what I got at Target. I'm excited about it. It's some food for baby and some um, new ventures for us as well. All right, let's go home. I am back home now and baby is waking up. You can hear him making all that ruckus. Um, we got the new Pampers Cruisers 360 Fit. I want to try it out because um, we've been using the Swaddlers and it's good, but we'll try something new. I do not like the Costco brand. I feel like the Costco brand is just not cute at all. It's fuzzy and I don't think it absorbs well. So I don't like it. So we're, we're gonna try this 360 and see if it's better. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got at um, Target for the um, dishwasher and a dryer as well because we have been short on that the happy baby organic teethers so gentle teething wafers for babies who teeth you want to try this okay let me uh, open one huh it's like a cracker so this flavor is blueberry and purple carrot well he has teeth so it's a teether, right? I mean, it says it's good for babies who teeth. Okay. So... It doesn't break, in, break off to eat? This... Okay, your child may be ready for organic teether when he or she sits with help or support. He's sitting with help support. Pushes up from tummy onto arms with straight elbows. You can do that, right? Yeah. Opens mouth and leans towards food. Yeah. You did that yesterday. Okay, we'll, we'll try this. Okay, here it is. This is by. What you laughing about? Um, Are you done? You get your tears out already? It doesn't say who it is it by. Hmm? Maybe it's just by Sitting Baby. I don't know. It's a Sitting Baby right here. All right. So I don't know how much we're supposed to give him, but just a small, like a teaspoon maybe. What do you think? Hi, honey. Can I try it first? Seems like there's two pieces. Just a small piece. What? Do you, then what the hell is the whole point of this? Okay. You sure you could eat this? This one, like one of those Asian crackers. Okay. Well, try a okay. small piece. You don't have to give him that big piece. Hey there, Teether. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you, Teether. Go ahead. You okay? He always cries dramatically when he wakes up. Honey. Is that good? Is that yummy? Yeah? Oh. I feel like it's like a cracker. What does this have to do with teething? Well, it's also to help him get used to flavors and it's a... <laughs> just... He's like, what are you doing eating my food? <laughs> I'm just a cracker. This is not teething anything. Just... What the hell is he supposed to do? This product should only be fed to seated, supervised, chil supervised children who are accustomed to chewing solid food. This unit is okay, he's not, not labeled for individual sale. It's okay, yeah. I'll watch him. Yeah, you like it? 
It's just easier it's, to feed the, the other stuff. It's gentle teething wafers. You like it? I think he likes it. I think he does. He's a chomper. Did that jump away? <laughs> okay, well while he's doing that, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of what I got. And then after he is um, done eating, then I'll breastfeed him. We got some cauliflower, of course, because Brian needs to get back on his diet. We're gonna start cooking some soup and stuff like that. Um, bananas for baby. And we got some rice. Um, medley risotto you know not just plain cauliflower a lot of them and then we got raspberries and blackberries because brian wants to be extra and fruity huh and then i got him some sweet potatoes you have to steam them and mush them not too much though um and then we have these once upon a time by jennifer gardner um Basically, no preservative, concentrates, or pre-processed purees, cold press protected to lock in nutrients, no added sugars, BPA-free pouch recyclable. How to enjoy. Keep refrigerated. If traveling, use ice pack or freeze and enjoy after thoroughly thawing. Enjoy within three days of opening. Do not microwave. Okay, so dear parents, I'm the daughter of an Oklahoma farm girl. My sisters and I grew up eating farm fresh food. Homemade by mom. All kids deserve food that is fresh and nutritious. Delicious helps too. Just like moms, um, everything we make at Once Upon a Time is full of goodness, heart and soul. I'm so proud to share it with you. Love, Jennifer. Jennifer Gardner. So she's the co-founder. Okay, it, it doesn't say the age for this. It just says no dairy for here. So... Not sure when we should give this to him, but here it says stage two, so seven months. So this one says seven months, and this one doesn't say anything. So we have to really look and see what we can give him. This one also says seven months right here on the top. He's about one month away. And this one's cocoa for mango, so no, no, um months here it's just no dairy so what does that mean does that mean we can feed him these ones okay so there you guys have it um i'll google it and see if it's good for him to eat if not then these last up until like the end of may so that'll be plenty of time for him to enjoy all right let's put this away okay so um i googled the um smoothies that is not good for baby right now. It's for older kids, maybe around um, three, four years old. But the ones that are labeled on there, like seven months or like first stage, second stage, then those are okay. So Brian will eat those um, older ones and then I'll get him the small, the ones that's meant for him. So bring him here, let me breastfeed him. So. I was editing my vlogs and they went for a nap. Um, I'm kind of behind because this past weekend was pretty crazy. But um, I'm caught up right now and I think I have some time to cuddle. I love you. Oh, I love you. I know, I know. You're hungry. You're hungry. Yes, yes. He needs a shower today. I don't care. It's been a couple of days and he's sweating like crazy okay this boy can sweat a lot and eat a lot huh honey and he's been doing that a lot just feeding and putting his fingers in my mouth scratching my neck scratching my boobs everything i know i know all right so um we are excited to start this new journey this new stage in his life solid and um can't wait to see what his favorites are. Huh? Oh. Love you.